Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After initially creating a slideshow, you can click the Edit button in the Playback toolbar when the video is playing to open the Slideshow Builder window where you can edit the slideshow. Alternately, if you save a slideshow you have created into the organizer, you can simply double-click the slideshow in the organizer in the future to open it within the slideshow builder window for editing. There is a toolbar at both the top and at the bottom of the slideshow builder window. The photos and text slides within a slideshow appear as slides within the middle of the window. You can click the slides to select them. To select multiple non-adjacent slides, click the first slide to select, hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click any other slides to select. To select multiple adjacent slides, click the first slide to select, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click the last slide to select those slides and all slides between them. To change the order of the slides within the slideshow, select the slides to move, and then click and drag the selected slides and release them when they are between the desired slides. You can also automatically sort slides by date by using the Sort by drop-down in the toolbar at the top of the Slideshow Builder window. To add media from the Elements Organizer to the existing slideshow, click the Add Media button in the toolbar at the top of the Slideshow Builder window and then select the Photos and Videos from Elements Organizer command in the drop-down menu to open an Add Media dialog box. In the Basic section at the left side of the dialog box, you can select either the Option button for All Media or Media from the Grid to choose which organizer media to display at the right side of the dialog box. For Advanced Media Display options, click the Advanced section at the left side of the dialog box to expand the choices below it. You can then select an option button and choose a specific choice from the adjacent drop-down for each filtering category shown to only display media that matches your selection in the pane at the right side of the dialog box. The filtering categories are Album, Keyword Tag, People, Places, and Events. For both the basic and the advanced sections, you can also check the Show Media with Star Ratings and or the Show Hidden Media checkboxes at the bottom of the left pane to only display star rated media and or only display hidden media in the right pane. After deciding what media to display within the right pane, you can click to select the media to add in the right pane. To add multiple non-adjacent media, click on the first media to select hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click the other media items to select. To select multiple adjacent media, simply click the first media item to select, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click the last media item to select those items and all items between them. You can also click the select all and deselect all buttons at the bottom of the right pane to select all the media items or deselect all of the media items. After selecting the media items to add, click the Add Selected Media button at the bottom of the dialog box to add the media to the slideshow. Then click the Done button when you are finished. Alternately, you can click the Cancel button to close the dialog box without adding any media. To add media from files or folders that are not within the organizer to the existing slideshow, click the Add Media button in the toolbar at the top of the Slideshow Builder window and then select the Photos and Videos from Folder command in the drop-down menu to open a Choose Your Photo and Video Files dialog box. Use this dialog box to navigate to the folder that contains the media items you want to import. Click the items to select them, and then click the Open button in the corner of the dialog box to add the selected media items into the slideshow. To zoom in or zoom out on the slides to change their size within the Slideshow Builder window, click and drag the Zoom slider in the toolbar at the top of the window to the left or right. To export the slideshow to a video you can either save to your computer or upload to Facebook, click the Export button in the upper right corner of the toolbar at the top of the Slideshow Builder window, and then select either the Export to Local Disk or Facebook command from the drop-down menu that appears. This button duplicates the features found within the Export button that appears when you preview the slideshow, as discussed in the previous lesson. To undo an action that you have made, click the Undo button at the left end of the toolbar at the bottom of the Slideshow Builder window. 
To redo an action that you have undone, click the drop down arrow at the right side of the undo button and then select the redo button from the pop-up menu. To remove a slide from the slideshow, select the slide or slides that you want to remove. Then click the remove button in the toolbar at the bottom of the slideshow builder window. A message box will appear on screen asking you to confirm that you want to remove the selected items. Click the Yes button in the message box to remove the selected items from the slideshow, or click the No button to cancel. To apply a different theme to the slideshow, click the Themes button in the toolbar at the bottom of the slideshow builder window to show the themes in a scrollable panel at the bottom of the window. Scroll through the list of themes and then click the theme within the panel that you wish to apply to the slideshow to select it. Then click the Apply button that appears next to the selected theme within the panel to apply it. Note that if you choose not to apply a theme, you can simply click the Themes button in the toolbar at the bottom of the Slideshow Builder window again to close the panel without applying a theme. To change the audio that plays during the slideshow, click the Audio button in the toolbar at the bottom of the Slideshow Builder window to show the available audio files from the organizer within the Add Audio dialog box. You can select an audio file within this list and then click the OK button to apply it to the slideshow. To remove audio from a slideshow, select the No Audio Choice within the list of audio files. To preview a selected audio file, click the Play button at the bottom of the Add Audio dialog box to play the currently selected file. This button then turns into the Stop button, which you can then click to stop the playback when finished. To import a new audio file, click the Browse button at the bottom of the Add Audio dialog box to open an Import Audio dialog box, which you can use to browse for and select an audio file to import. After selecting your audio file, simply click the Open button in the Import Audio dialog box to import the selected file into the Add Audio dialog box. To cancel the Add Audio dialog box, simply click the Cancel button within it to close it. If captions are enabled within a slideshow, you can click into the space beneath any slide shown in the Slideshow Builder window to add a caption to the slide within the text field that appears. You can toggle the display of captions on and off by clicking the Captions button in the toolbar at the bottom of the Slideshow Builder window. To add a text slide to the slideshow, click the Add Text Slide button in the toolbar at the bottom of the Slideshow Builder window. The text slide will be added to the slide shown within the slideshow. Click into the text field within the slide and then type the text you want to have appear within the slide. Click outside of the text field to set the text when you are finished. Text in text slides and captions for photo slides will have their animation and appearance settings determined by the theme that is applied to the slideshow. To preview the slideshow, click the preview button to play the slideshow. This will preview the slideshow as shown in the previous lesson. To save the changes that you have made to a slideshow that you have saved already once before, click the Save button in the toolbar at the bottom of the Slideshow Builder window. To save a copy of the slideshow with a different name, or when saving the slideshow for the first time, you will need to use the Elements Organizer dialog box. To open this dialog box after saving the slideshow for the first time, click the drop down to the right of the Save button and select the Save As command from the pop-up menu that appears. Then enter the name for the slideshow into the Name field within the Elements Organizer dialog box that appears and click the Save button in the dialog box to save the copy. Note that if you are saving a slideshow for the first time, clicking the Save button directly will also launch the Elements Organizer dialog box so that you can name the slideshow file. To close the slideshow when you are finished with it, you can click the X button in the upper right corner of the window to close it. When closing the window within a slideshow that contains unsaved changes, Elements will display a message box that asks you if you want to save the unsaved changes before closing. If you do, click the Yes button in the message box. If you do not, click the No button instead. You can click the Cancel button to cancel the closing of the window if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.